Hey guys, this is Jesus in your hand with another tutorial on Vegas Pro. Some more advanced editing, uh, just some pretty cool custom transitions you can do, and uh, shot effects, like whenever you shoot, you can make it look cooler. Um, we're going to start off by uh, doing a custom transition, but uh, I didn't save the project from the last video, so I, had to, I just opened the rendered video I made. Uh, so I need to cut these, and you find each frame right there and now we have two individual clips <coughs> custom transition uh, don't make it like too long or too short I say about there's fine and then you gotta make it about the same on this side and just whatever uh, that you have to do sometimes your clip can't do it that long or uh, cause you get the shot out pretty quick but for custom transition like we're gonna do it to the radar because because uh, there's nothing else similar from this clip to this clip because I'm a militia and this one I'm a ranger and there's nothing basically similar besides the 15 and my stuns I think I don't know so I'm just gonna do the radar um, this is a keyframe with the uh, uh, crop button oh to mean that I hate that so much <coughs> Um, if you add a keyframe, you just press this button right here, uh, but you don't really have to do it right now. You don't need to add a keyframe unless you're doing some other stuff, but what I would do is right at the end of the clip right here, uh, crop it down, well, let me do that. <coughs> if you actually, uh, turn it, just go to angle, hit zero, and it'll be perfectly straight. Uh, put the middle of your frame wh where your person is. And then adjust it to where your uh, your video is, and so about right there. And see if you watch, it will zoom in. Uh, hold on. Uh, well, it will come out when it's rendered. It's really laggy right now. And so on the second clip, you're going to start out uh, on your radar. So get that. Right there. Uh, oh, yeah. And then, once you have that at the end of the clip, make it full screen. That's good right there. <coughs> now, if we play it, hopefully we'll do it. Uh, oh, it's a little laggy, I'll try it. Uh, that's fine. <coughs> I'll show you the render after it's done. Now we're going to do some cool effects. Uh, let's see what we can do on this clip. Um, nothing that cool, but uh, say about right here to uh, here. I'm going to make just zooming into the guy and coming back out. So halfway. About right there, no, about right there. <clears throat> Move the frame up to the person, and then that's it. <clears throat> well, whenever you move the frame, it'll automatically make a keyframe. Let's say you wanted to like stay full screen, and then once it's there, start moving in. You can add keyframe right there. And so basically, oh wait, hold on, hold on, delete that, delete this one. Like say you want to move it, add a keyframe right here, and it'll stay full screen. It'll start moving once it hits there, and then once it hits here. Wow, I wouldn't do that. Once it hits here, it will zoom into the guy. But we're not going to do that. I'm just showing you. I see it stays full screen, and then once it hits there, it zooms in. But we don't want that. <coughs> we're gonna have the whole clip zooming in, and then. At the end, make a keyframe with the full screen. That's not good right there. Let's try to watch it. Nope, I'll try again. Yeah, see, that's pretty cool. Um, next. Uh, uh, what could we do on this? 
I'm going to do it just as, uh, like a 360 effect, but it's not going to look that good. It will look better whenever, like, people are hard scoping, so they can just c cover it up and whatnot. But right when I zoom in, you can um, cut the clip right there. All right, when you uh, right before you zoom out. And then what you do, basically, do 360. Uh, just go to the end of the clip, edit the angle uh, to 360, and that's what you got to do. You can make individual keyframes for like 90 and 180 if you how fast you want to go, on, but uh, this is the most easiest way to do 360. Or you can ha like have a keyframe so it zooms in while you're doing the 360. I do that too, but this is the easiest way. I'll try it again. Yeah, see, uh, that's 360. I'm gonna do uh, just zooming in so it'll look better. Let's do it. So just delete the last keyframe. So about a quarter of the way. Uh, make a keyframe. About 90 degrees. And make it to fit the screen. About halfway. Uh, make it 180. And make it full screen another quarter of the way <coughs> make it 720 and make it full s to fit the screen and then make it a keyframe at the end of 360 make it full screen and there we go Let's see if that looks cooler All right. Um, that's basically it, and uh, I'll show the rendered video at the end. So, uh, read, comment, subscribe, guys, and uh, hope this uh, helps you out.